304 Kirk. This is one of our rentals. We just got the key from our property manager. Uh, tenant recently skipped out on us and we are going to go in and check it out. Now the reason we just got the key from our property manager, this is a, a pro tip right here, is we use the quick set smart key locks. So when a tenant skips out and they stop paying rent and you have to go over and change the locks, our property manager can just get a new key, any key they want cut, they stick it in, use a little tool, and they can rekey that lock. So again, they rekey our entire house in about five minutes. So this is one that we added to our rental portfolio using the Burr method. So we bought it in September 2019. And this was a lead that came in through another wholesaler friend of ours. They were asking 35,000 for it. Uh, and we were figuring the property was probably worth about 70. So we thought, okay, cool, we'll check it out. We, uh, we got into it and uh, went back and forth and said, no way can we do that after seeing all the work it needed, but we could make you an offer for about $22,000, $23,000, and that's what we did. So we were able to pick it up for around $23,000 back in 2019. Uh, let's go check it out. So our rehab in general on this one, again, you can see our uh, traditional gray color we use in all of our houses. But this was a huge room, so we put up this wall to create another bedroom over on that side of the house. So we've got two bedrooms over here uh, behind Dave. And again, this is the first time we've been in this house since our tenant skipped out. Uh, so we've got two bedrooms over here and a full bath. Then we're really just here to assess the damage today, guys. But it's in pretty good shape, so we're doing pretty good. So when we rehabbed, it doesn't look like we redid the floors. Some of those hardwoods are a little older. We did, we painted the cabinets, uh, new hardware on there, new countertops, and everything else looks pretty decent though for us. So over here, we've got a half bath. And I mentioned over on the other side of the house, there's a really big living room. So we changed that and turned this into a third bedroom because it's so close to that other half bath. So again, you've still got a pretty good functional large living space, but you've got a third bedroom now, which means we can e increase the rents, which is huge. This one has a nice little two car attached garage. Nothing too fancy. But again, luckily the tenant did not leave us with a ton of their old possessions. So we don't have a ton to clean up. Good deal. We've already got a new AC, so that's great. So again, when we rehabbed it, a lot of the money went to plumbing and electric down here. When we bought it, there was uh, no copper. So somebody had stolen the pipes and they actually ripped out the electric, uh, some of the electric wiring as well. So pretty good shape, new plumbing already. Everything's up to code, new water heater new HVAC, so we wanna get a tenant in here quick because again, this is an area where somebody might decide to try to, uh, well, those things might walk away, just put it like that. I love how wide the streets are. This is a really, really uh, desirable area because of the streets. All right guys, let's take a look around back. We gotta get somebody over here to cut this grass for us. Ooh, man. What's going on here, Mike? So yeah, one of our uh, the window covers looks like it fell off. Can't say I've honestly seen that before. Thought somebody actually taking it down. There's no, there's not a lot of damage anywhere though, which is lucky. Yeah, so let's keep looking around. Uh oh. Oh, that's good. So this is a weird one. We had, uh, we had a generator over here at one point and we actually sold it. So when we bought the property, uh, I think we paid like 23, we were able to sell that generator for like, I think it was one or $2,000. So it actually helped us kind of decrease the cost of the property. Uh, but you can see it's caged as is our AC because like I said, things tend to walk away around this area. So we've got an extra cage. We'll probably throw that on another property. 